so another reduction tool which is of immense use uh, in acetabular fractures is are these ball spikes so they have a pointed tip and then there is a ball which is just next to the spike so you can have control on the cancellous bone and the ball prevents it from getting inside so now it could be uh, angled or straight and they could be on of different lengths as you can see here and then if you are very lucky you can have this uh, type of a ball spike in which you can actually pass a k wire you can actually pass a k wire and uh, you can after pushing putting in a k wire you can use the ball spike to secondarily compress uh, wherever you have sort of got the reduction so i'll just take this uh, typical example of a posterior wall fracture to make you understand that uh, this is one place where uh, you see the ball spike is the primary reduction tool and invariably you don't uh, sort of use anything else and once you free out the fracture fragment of whatever uh, hematoma or tissue is there you check the marginal impaction if required you raise it the femoral head actually serves as a template on which you raise your marginal impaction and once you are all satisfied your fragment uh, is a large big fragment you sort of use your uh, an assistant puts a ball spike to hold it there and then you drill a hole uh, using a k wire to get a fixation of this fragment the thing to look at is you don't want to enter the joint so you might uh, put the k wire take it out again sort of open up the fracture and see whether your k wire is in the right point the hole and then once you are satisfied you can go ahead with your uh, compression screw which is then secondarily stabilized with a neutralizing plate so now these uh, ball spikes can be used uh, at almost uh, every place where you want to manipulate fragments whether you're going posterior or you're going anterior you know intrapelvic you might want to push fragments you might want to get fragments down they also help in some amount of retraction of the tissues and then your uh, routine uh, large clamps secondarily uh, help you in get reduction so if you want to use the greater sciatic notch as a place to plant your reduction tool it's very important to erase the tissue over here and at the end maybe push in some gauze or then push in your finger and create space for putting whatever instrument you want once you've done you once you created the space you can put in a spike over there and then you can slide your prong your reduction tool in between the in between the spike and your bone so this is a great area actually if you uh, like in this fracture if you can get your uh, reduction clamp it really gives you an excellent uh, force to get your reduction and if you look at the superior prong it is placed in such a way that after getting this reduction you can still slide your plate also if you if you use the anterior uh, superior ilex spine osteotomy then there are ways of sliding these prongs just next to the osteotomy area you just go like that you just keep getting them inside and you get them to an area where you know that there is strong bone and then you can get a, a very nice reduction getting it on the inner side and the outer side so indirect uh, passage of you know reduction clamps uh, is also a good tool to do so thanks for watching